All right, in this video, we're going to make uh, QTP learn how to click on a, on a link, right? Um, the link uh, which uh, will make QTP learn, uh, learn is uh, on this advanced search. So first of all, this, this link um, or this object needs to be put into my object repository. And then I got to go and then do a recording where I would perform what is called a, a, a click on this link. And then um, I'll make QTP repeat that process. Okay, very quickly, we we come in here, uh, back in QTP, I'm gonna go and then uh, click on object repository so that I could add that uh, this 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 thing. Now, the reason I'm saying this thing is intentionally because uh, uh, let's uh, make believe that we don't know this object. If we don't know this object, uh, how would you find out You know what this object is all about? Uh, again, I'm, I'm not gonna repeat myself, but uh, we have done that in the past that we will be using what is called the object spy for that. So. We will not do that in this case. I'm just gonna just go ahead and then add that. So here is my object repository, and I'm gonna click on this plus sign, which which is add objects to local, and I'm gonna bring my mouse and then uh, let it click on this advanced search. Uh, once I do that, it says that okay, it is an advanced uh, search is a link, um, and uh, there's one one new thing in here. Uh, this link uh, is actually inside a web table right inside a web table so it is going to add both the web table and uh, the the link um, right now I would not care much about it so I would say okay but uh, later on I'm going to show show you as uh, uh, let's say if you don't need the web table so why add that right so for now I'm just going to take it as this okay so um, here it is uh, in this this there's a new page here and then uh, this is the advanced search uh, advanced search as a link now uh, down the road uh, you know I I, I really want to make uh, you know uh, my names to be very descriptive or very user-friendly so um, if you if you see here there's something called uh, search uh, but I want to I want to say that what is search right what is search when I click on that then I know that it's a button right when I click on this NKW I don't even know what that NKW is when I click on that I know that it's a web edit how about if we do this how about when, while I'm naming them I I use what is called um, a naming standard the naming standard is uh, following what is called a Hungarian notation and what is Hungarian notation before before we name anything like in this case the name of that is it it gave it a logical name called advanced search right um so what i would like to do is i would like to change it uh, in such a way that i'm following what is called uh, the uh, standard naming convention so i'm going to come in here and uh, I, i'll start name it uh, you know the way i should i should name it so and for that i'm just going to go and uh, this is a link right so i would say lnk so that will give me an idea that it's a link and now i can call it whatever i want to call it so advanced search is fine um let's not uh try and have like space between the names right it is better not to have any space and notice the camel casing meaning that i have this a as an uppercase and then i have this s as an uppercase so whenever you have like two words uh and you want them to stand out you have to like advanced search so the search should be uppercase s right and then the 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 name when you start the name uh advanced a should be uppercase now before that i have lnk lnk is for link likewise i could for button i could have btn for a button right and uh, for a uh, web edit I could have EDT something like that right so that's the naming convention okay I added this object in here okay part one is done okay I added that next thing is um, we want to click on that and how do we learn um, how do we make Q to be learn how to click on that we'll record it so where where is that uh, we basically that's that's on this this page right and this we came to this page after after doing this so if I go back um, I was here we clicked on the BMW. We 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 selected this, and then we we clicked on that, and then we then we came to this page. And now in this page, I want to uh, uh, make you to be learn as how to click on this link. So this is this is like all the way in my script. This is like all the way in the end here. Here. So I'm gonna go in here, and then I will have my mouse there, right? My cursor there, and then I'll I'll tell you to be to learn um, to. To click on that link, so I say record. When I when I do that, uh, it'll 
it'll bring up uh, let, let me bring up the browser I, I i brought the browser and then i am going to click now i want you to watch here i want you to watch here what gets populated now in your head you might already know what gets populated now if you already know well and good um if not just see if it is if it is the same as what you had expected right okay i'm gonna click on that right okay now i will just i will just uh move this uh and so that we can see that okay the uh oops um see that here in the bottom uh the recording is still going on now i i what do i need to do basically i can continue uh to record more or i can stop here let me just stop here we will take baby steps so let me just stop here okay so what i have done in this case is uh first of all in this recording uh what i have done is uh i showed you as how to add uh, that object a new object which is a link object right okay now uh i think we had we had enough of like uh, showing you as how to add objects so now from in future i'm not going to be opening up the object uh, repository and then showing you as how i am adding it so i'm i'm hoping and i'm guessing that at this point you already know as how to add objects uh, to object repository okay and the other thing which i did in here is i made qtp learn as how to go and then click on that link uh, that was like we we should put our cursor at a point where we want uh, the qtp to start uh, recording and then i went in there and i click on the record and then it brought up and then i click on that so in my next video basically what i'm going to be doing here is uh we'll be going and then we will be talking about um how to record how to record this right how to record this meaning that uh here we have some more objects right so this time i'm not going to be adding them into the object library as because these are not like individual objects what i'm going to be doing is i'm straight going to go and then start recording in here and then after we record I have stopped recording right now, right? So I'm just gonna quickly show you what I'm going to record in my in the in my next video, or what I'll make QTP record in my next video, which is uh, I'm gonna come in here in the vehicle make, and then I'm gonna choose let's say BMW in here. I'm gonna give a range of uh, the uh, or the vehicle model, which is going to be let's say I want X5, uh, which is a truck SUV, and then the uh, this is going to be 2008 to 2011, right? No other uh, things. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and then click on uh, a search when I click on search what it is going to do is it is going to search and it is going to give me some some uh, number here that there are 225 uh, such vehicles for sale so what I want to do is I want to this is the this is the application giving me an output here right the application is giving me an output so I want to capture this so I want to find out what object it is right what object it is i want to because right now it looks like a link right so i don't know what it is so but we will find out in our next video what object it is and once we find out what object it is then we will learn a very new thing there is uh, how to to capture uh, output uh, from an application this is the output from the application ebay application has said that 225 how we can capture that and bring it into qtp and report it in my print window right that's what i'll be doing in my next video all right thank you so much for watching this and uh hope to see you back again in the next video and uh happy learning